Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is a me, Lavnex, or the Redmi K40, the Poco F3 custom ROM reviews. In this video, I'm going to explain this Pixel OS, guys, with October 5th, 2023, is the security patch and build date you guys can see here. Uh, November 18th. This is the latest build available for this Poco F3 of the Mi 11X and Android version is quite obviously Android 14 here. This is an Android 14 based Pixel OS. We'll be seeing uh, what all the benchmark results, everything in this video. Stay tuned till the end of the video and in the description there is a separate WhatsApp group is given in order to get any doubts or if you want to clarify any files xml files or any of the files you can join there and also check out description there is a flashing method for this particular rom everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video guys uh, this is a mi 11x pixel os you guys can see this is how the home screen it gets you get a wallpaper sense style if i press and hold here again you get this android 14 style of lock screen customization as you can see there are plenty are available i'll choose this one you can even customize the color of it and even the intensity once you select the color you get that and dynamic if you want to keep it as a smaller you can do that from here which is cool here and in the home screen you get this kind of customization if i go into more wallpapers you get ai wallpapers some of them are pre-installed here and this minerals this is the latest one even in pixel devices you can see this kind of wallpapers which are cool in my opinion they have implemented here and some of the other wallpapers you get as it is and themed icons if you want you can enable it still recognized as beta here app grid you get up to from 2 into 2 to 5 into 5 is given here the ui wise it's very very smooth this is a quick settings panel you guys can see in the edit section you get these kind of other options if you want you can drag them and add into the main quick settings panel again if you press and hold here you get a widget here got it as you can see or regarding clock you get five different widgets and even in youtube music you get these kind of widgets here you can select and add it to your home screen and this is the typical app drawer you get apps are arranged like this we'll start some of the results here cpu throttling test as you can see still in memory the maximum is around 316 average is 273 and minimum is 229 million jps and it's total to 78 percent of its max performance and this is for 15 minutes guys and this is a hundred test i really like the output whatever the result i got but uh, it is not the best what i got and DRM information again you can see level one certified such that you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution that's not going to be any problem here even the safety net status also will show you that as you can see it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine let me change the wallpaper it's a little bit duller here uh, minerals will keep uh, this one yeah you can also see the preview from here as you can see set wallpaper both yeah this is how you can apply the wallpapers if you want to apply some of the third party applications you can select from uh, gallery you can upload them for example as you can see my photos will be apply like that too this is how typical home skin and quick settings panel it's smooth here i haven't faced any issues here you also get that uh, small notifications whenever you turn on the torch light and all also the app active status will be displayed here and you can directly wake the power button from here also settings from here we'll see what all the settings we get here uh, starting with the apps you get a uh, similar interface considering it's an android 14 and default apps you can select here colored id and all select the phone application if you want to install true color you can directly give access to that particular application similarly browser home app phone apps MS app you can customize them from here As assistant if you want you can enable or disable them screen time unused apps app battery uses special app access you get plenty of options here once you flash the rom you go through these one by one you'll come to understand and utilize them as it is a android 14 and battery again battery percentage you can turn it on and off from here thermal profiles has been implemented there's a pixel os and the pixel experience and battery usage hasn't recorded it hope so i would have recorded it but anyhow the battery life is quite good it's not great or anything like that but it's not bad too it's moderately good in my opinion 
extreme battery saver yeah not given that is that's how it is battery saver is given thermal profiles has been implemented sound and vibration can you can individually uh, select the intensity of the volume you want in the alarm notification ring and call volume and do not disturb mode is available if you want you can select some of them uh, live caption again these things have been given if you want you can enable for disable firmware again vibration haptics for certain particular apps you can increase or decrease the intensity of it you can completely turn it off also in the above option media player is also included in this particular rom again there are no any direct sound settings here in the sound and vibration clear speaker is given uh, moving into display again you get a brightness level and adaptive brightness is also working fine lock screen again you get these kind of customizations here lift to check the phone if you want you can disable that and double line clock these are the other things you get in the lock screen things and screen timeout you get up to 30 minutes dark theme again it's not in the pitch black but due to the wallpaper it's in pitch black condition display size and text if you want you can customize them further if it is looking a little bit smaller you can increase them or even the font size also you can decrease or increase and even if you want a bold text you can enable or disable it from here night light feature again you get both schedule option and intensity of it colors again you get plenty of options i kept currently boosted and auto rotate skin minimum refresh rate you can go it to 60 maximum 120 low power refresh rate keep it 90 tap to wake is also given dc dimming is also included in this particular rom again wallpaper and style i have shown this one accessibility menu you get plenty of options here accessibility menu without actually uh, touching the physical buttons i mean without actually accessing the physical buttons you can actually increase the or decrease the volume even brightness slider also you need not to slide like this and uh, turn it on and all you can do it from this single accessibility menu which is a handy feature and other things like display size and text and color and motion sound notifications and sound amplifier select to speak and live transcribe these things going to make a huge difference once you flash this rom i definitely uh, urge you to go and check these options and security and privacy again you get just fingerprint unlock no face unlock or anything like that there is no even app lock pre-installed in this particular room hope so in the upcoming builds they will have and in the system you get this gestures again one-handed mode is turned off let me turn it on as you can see one handed mode is also working fine here no problem regarding that too keyboard is given that's it nothing more here the ui was it's very very smooth as you can see i want to show this antidote benchmark result also as you can see 8 lakh 19621 is the score what i got and 3.2 degree celsius is the temperature is and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this mi 11x using pixel os latest build that to november 18th build guys and but it is having october security base that is one downside i can say but overall it's very good rom you also get calculator and echo battery results should i turn it on now i would have turned it before anyhow you'll get some idea here go to this all apps echo battery don't optimize turn yeah you get a little bit of idea as you can see this how the stats i got but i would have turned on before you would be getting a little bit better idea i uh, will show some of the results here geekbench yeah it's out of memory but i have took the screenshots of it as you can see this is the antidote benchmark result and this is charging rapidly i mean 33 watt charging support is given in this particular room and this is antidote sorry cpu throttling test that to 100 thread test guys and this is the uh, geekbench 6 course 1143 single and 3 1350 is a multi-score and android 14 links 4.19.297 twilight version 2 kernel has been used in this mail on or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 and these are the benchmark results and other things i would uh i think so explained everything and bgma gameplay is also fine but you definitely don't get any 90 fps option 60 fps it's fine i tried playing them a couple of matches here as of now but it's not a gaming rom and everything like that but you will still get a smooth experience in the rom user interface everything is smooth here let me show the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quite fast face unlock is simply missing and this is how the lock screen you get as you can see this is completely customizable now 
you can keep it smaller or make it dynamic and also you can change the themes of the lock screen that's the android 14 guys as you can see some of the visual changes i already explained in the android 14 uh build i mean the portrait rom check out those videos there is a separate playlist called me 11x you check out there I have made plenty of videos based on this Mi 11x custom ROMs and some of the reviews and how to uh, install GCAM. Every videos are in my playlist. Check out guys and also if you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button guys. Join the WhatsApp group for further more questions and if you have any specific questions, comment down in the comment section. I will be answering them within 24 hours. Thank you for watching this video guys. We will meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.